All right, everybody, what's up? Welcome to Chips Chips. I'm your man, Chip. Uh, special guest, Gary, in the house. Uh, we've got a good one for you today. Um, I am still a little bit twitchy, still not drinking a Coca-Cola. This is our 59th review, and I'm not sure, any, I couldn't think of anything that was 59 besides the Ryan Adams song, Summer of 59. Back in the summer of 59, uh-huh. Me and Gary doing 59. We're, at, we're actually not doing 59, we're parked in the driveway. So we've got Burt's, Burt's British hand-cooked sea salt and vinegar. I'm not sure if Gary has had sea salt before. We'll ask him in a minute. Uh, so I don't know if he, if he likes them or not. Hand-cooked. Now, a little teachable moment. Hand-cooked versus kettle-cooked. So a lot of the chips that we've been eating are kettle-cooked. These were actually cooked by hand, which is which is different. So they're cooked in your hands as opposed to a kettle. These are from Britain. Burt's British. It's a very popular brand over in the United Kingdom. Another teachable moment. They do not have coal in the United Kingdom. So they had to find uh, other ways back in the day in order to get their salt. And like in the U.S., we would we have coal mines, so we would just go there to get the salt in uh, back in the day, Joffrey sent his brother Tolman to the Iron Islands in order to mine the sea salt. So they would go out to the Iron Islands, Tolman would mine the salt and bring it back to uh, the people of the United Kingdom in order to have their ice and to put onto their food. So, teachable moment. I'm sure people do not know that. Also, they are calling these crisps chips. They're calling these chips typically crisps with our friends across the pond. But, uh, okay, uh, we're gonna give them a shot. I love sea salt and vinegar, definitely my my complete, my favorite uh, type of chip. So we'll give them a shot. Gary knows the rules, I don't have to explain it to him. Sea salt. Sea salt and vinegar potato chips, off of the Coke. Okay, Gary, are you ready? One chip, everybody knows the rules. Gary, you gotta stand up. Oh, they're actually really good, great rip of the bag. Great rid of the bag. Very big looking chips here. Okay, Gary, you gotta sit up. Gary, you're drooling. Okay, we'll turn the camera for you. Gary, 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 look at me, look at me. I'm the captain now. One chip. One chip. We eat the chip. Very crispy for chips. Gary, one more chip. Okay, you eat your chip, and then you give a review. Not pungently vinegar, um, but a good little vinegar taste. Very crispy. I like when they're a little burnt like that. One chip, Gary. And then you give your review. What do you think? Then again, Gary. Gary gives every chip a ten. I'm not surprised. Rookie score. I think he would have learned his lesson. This has got to be at least his fourth or fifth review here. Uh, finger off. They're good. They're really good. We did their crispy bacon chips. Which I don't remember what I gave to them. I'm a little confused how you can taste crispy. Sea salt definitely tastes different than regular salt. But um, I like these. You would eat these with fish and crisps. Fish and chips. They make complete sense. Now. They're good, and I love salt and vinegar chips. I might have to head across the pond for these. These are, people get excited, 8.3. These are really good. 8.3, British Burt's salt and vinegar. Gary gives them a 10, rookie score, 8.3, that's a review.